Hi, this is David from Minute Earth. Here at Minute Earth, we talk about trees a lot. But in doing research for yet another tree video, I came across something that our tree-hugging crew had never quite realized before. There's no definitive way to tell what's a tree and what isn't. I mean, we all know what a tree is. It's a tall plant with a single trunk made out of wood, right? But it turns out that when you use that definition, some plants that you think of as trees, well, aren't. A palm tree, for example, is tall and has a trunk, but that trunk isn't made out of the hard, highly structured nutrient-transporting cells we commonly call wood. Instead, its trunk is made of less dense, fibrous material. Same with the banana tree. So are they not trees? Then you have trees like the dwarf cypress and various bonsai. They all have single trunks made out of wood, but they're short. Like, they're shorter than lots of shrubs, some of which also have woody trunks. So are those tiny trees not actual trees either? And what about aspens, which are tall and woody, but each have multiple trunks? Are they trees? Okay, so maybe defining a tree based on physical characteristics isn't the right way to go about it. Luckily, there's a whole branch of science dedicated to organizing living things. Surely taxonomy can help us figure out what a tree is. After all, we classify most groups of organisms by their genetic relationship to one another. For example, all primates are more closely related to each other than they are to non-primates. Maybe we can do the same with tree mates. Let's take an oak tree and a pine tree. Hmm, they aren't actually that closely related after all. And look here, an oak tree is way more closely related to an orchid, which is definitely not a tree, than it is to a pine tree. And a maple tree is way more closely related to a cabbage, again, definitely not a tree, than it is to a cedar tree. What we think of as treeness seems to have evolved lots of different times in lots of very different places. So the tree of life doesn't help us narrow down what a tree is. Researchers have tried, but there is no universal agreed upon way to define a tree. Taxonomy isn't helpful, and physical characteristics just aren't enough. That's frustrating, and not just for researchers who need to be able to organize and categorize the world in order to better understand it, but also for folks like us who just want to be able to clearly and succinctly explain what seem like simple concepts. But nature and language are tremendously messy, so maybe it's good for us to be able to tolerate a bit of uncertainty. Otherwise, we might miss the forest for the... Hmm, wait, is that a tree?